Yes, I'm still a Seiko fanboy. I've actually been wearing the Monster for days. I don't even, not keeping track. But Mimo sent over three colorways of this new release from Seiko. And yeah, there's plastic everywhere. And I, I try not to like peel the plastic off because they're not my watches and they're brand new. But like, ah, there's plastic everywhere. So these are the, um, the 1970s reissue. Uh, back in the 70s, Seiko had these very similar to these. They were called the SNXSs. Yeah, Seiko's always used weird letters and stuff. But um, in order, so like, well, not necessarily in order, but in the order that I have them. This is the SRPK91. They all have the 4R36, automatic, day-date. Um, retail price, $3.95. You're not going to pay that. You're going to get a discount. Spoiler alert, this is my favorite colorway of the of the bunch. Nice pop of uh, orange on the seconds hand on all three of them, but it just complements really well on this particular colorway, whatever you want to call it, like a champagne or something. Then there's this dark blue one, which I am I like it. i just not a huge fan of blue dial watches, if I'm completely honest. But if you are, then yeah, this one's going to be a home run for you. This is the SRPK87. So there's a closer look at that guy here with a little bit of dust. We got plastic and dust and all the good stuff. Hard Lex crystals on them. They're single domed. And measurements. So as I show you this black one, which is going to be the safe bet. This is going to be the more timeless one, the iconic one. I think this would be... Yeah, I'm, I'm more of like either this one or the champagne one, leaning more towards the champagne one. This one here is the SRPK89 and the size on these guys. This is where they're going to shine for a lot of people. 37.45 millimeter, so nearly 37 and a half millimeter side to side. Lug to lug. This is what's going to make it so wearable. It's only 44.5 millimeter. And then you can see you have solid end links with the uh, female, so it articulates immediately. Thickness is 12.8 millimeter. And the lug opening is 18. Bracelet does taper down to 16. The bracelets are really good, and if you're looking for a strap option for this, strap have it. I recommend them highly. They have a ton of 18 millimeter options. And very affordable, because you're buying an affordable watch, you kind of want to put an affordable strap on there. Uh, split pin design for the bracelet sizing so a piece of cake there and all stamped there's only one micro adjust but these links are pretty short so i don't really don't think that's going to be too big of an issue and you have this little itty bitty crown i love that seiko's offset their crowns it's one of my favorite things about them but i can still wind it it's just it's not easy or very tactile i'm not 100 percent sure that it's working, but it is. Um, it's a 100 meter water resist, it's a push pull crown, so you can wind it there. You need a little bit of fingernail, get underneath it, you can pop it out, hack the movement, adjust the uh, time, and then the day and date as well if you want. Like I said, $395, you're under the $400 price point, but then with discount, that's gonna push it down even more. So completely affordable if this is in your wheelhouse, if you like these smaller watches, the more vintage historical vibe to them. There it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Way too small for my personal preference and part of that is gonna be that lug to lug. It works okay on bracelet, but if I were to put this on, say like that strap habit or something I mentioned, then it would, it would feel way too short. Uh, or way too small for me. That's just, again, that's just my personal preference. I know there's a ton of people out there with my size wrist or even larger that rock these smaller watches all the time. Um, but oftentimes these smaller watches are worn or purchased because smaller wrist, smaller watch. That's just the way it works. Not always. I have buddies with smaller wrists that rock watches that I am uncomfortable wearing because of the size and they just prefer the larger watch. And they cannot lie. So uh, here is all three of them side by side. I was going to do this video individually, but how cool is it that I get to see like the entire launch of 
a new model or something all at once and then share them with you guys. So you can hopefully make a better decision. Again, I'm biased. You know, it's just my personal preferences, but it really comes down to these two for me. And I'm indifferent. The, the black one's definitely more legible. They did a really good job with those markers. They are applied in that, I guess you can call it Fotina, but it's, I, which would be appropriate because it is a re-release or whatever, but I think it's just more of a off-white color. It's not even really like a Fotina or whatever. Um, let's give these guys a, is, is there any charge left in these? Yeah, I got a little bit of charge left in that. Let's turn off the studio lights and check out the loom on these guys. It's Seiko, so the loom's going to be insane. Yeah, and I gave it a quick blast, but it's so cool to me that you can have like that off-white color. And then you have this beautiful blue, bluish green, whatever you want to call it. It's definitely a very, very good looking loom and a very good looking watch. So if you prefer these smaller watches, if you're vibing with this watch, then yeah, go for it. The price point's good. It's a Seiko. You're not going to be disappointed. It's a killer watch. And uh, you can get a link in the description. You can get it right on Mimo's website or you can reach out to him. Tell him I sent you. Pick up one of these guys. I'll see you on the next vid.